Hello, my beautiful crafters. My name is Creeping Chicken, and welcome to my channel where I share my Minecraft creations with you and basically have fun playing Minecraft. So, as you have probably noticed, I haven't shared any videos recently. It actually been quite a while since I post my last video and there are many reasons for this and this includes my computer being basically a bit too weak and recording took me an awfully long time much longer than I would that I would like that I would like it to so, I decided to, to stop doing videos for a while until I can, I can basically invest in a better, in better equipment to produce better, better value for you guys. So, recently I managed to, to get myself new equipment, including proper microphone so you guys can can actually hear my voice and and I can speak to you and I don't know if that's for the best for you but we'll have to deal with this from now I'm just joking I wanted to to record my voice for for a longer time now and I tried different things including my a uh, headset that I had, but the quality just wasn't just wasn't good enough, and I ended up not not posting any of this stuff. But now with my new microphone, we can finally start recording again. And I had plans whilst buying my my new computer and my plan was to start recording a new let's play series uh, along with with 1.17 caves and cliffs update and this sadly didn't happen and this didn't happen because of another problem that showed up because unfortunately my custom skin doesn't doesn't work for some reason in this update. So yeah, I'm Alex right now. And this is super embarrassing. So my idea to start Let's Play series goes basically through out of the window and I have message support on this and they only told me that uh, they know about the issue and they are working on it and just politely ask me to patiently wait and wait and wait until they solve the issue and this has been almost a month now and i have been waiting and waiting and waiting for my skin to get back but Unfortunately, weeks have passed and I postponed my recording until I have my skin back. And it's still not here, so this brings us here into my creative world that I started earlier this week. And I did some building here that I'm pretty pretty happy about and just wanted to show it to you all and just you know start discussion just hear your thoughts like what do you think of it so far and yeah leave leave me a comment tell me what what you think of what you see here so i was just chilling here playing with the new blocks trying to improve myself as a builder try terraforming for the first time and also also built this three little custom trees that are, that are they are first trees that I built so 
Yeah, don't judge me too harshly, please. But it's all about improving and learning and trying new things. Because I never tried terraforming before. I always played survival and... And it was always too stressful for me to, to just survive and, you know, build a base and so on. So, so I didn't really bother to, to do things like terraforming and survival world. And here I wanted to create something, something different, push my limits a little bit, try new things, learn stuff, you know. So how about I'll take you on a little tour of what I got here so far. So here's kind of like an entrance to, to the village for now. And before this tree here showed up, this was actually the first, first build that I placed here. A little caravan wagon that we probably took to, to get into this beautiful spruce forest. And now it's all settled here. There's like signs of, you know, passing time on it. We have some well established plants over here that may suggest that we have been here for a while. And also, we built ourselves this little patio here. But we have all we need in here. We got our bed, some some storage room like for your suitcases or whatnot, some storage space here and there. We had plenty of storage room here. Uh, we got our furnaces and a smoker so you can cook yourself a dinner or some or perhaps, like totally up to you. And yeah, we got some paintings, nice warm lighting, which makes this interior very nice and cozy with our little sofa here that we cannot really jump onto. Oh well, this is all for decoration anyway. And here we have a little farmhouse that I built. This was the second build of this world. Again, a little cottage style uh, starter base maybe. Oh, poor octopus. My favorite thing about this design is this, this little windows here and, and I really, really love this, 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 this way of you know, placing windows in. So you don't actually need to use any glass or anything. You can just put trapdoors outside of the blocks and, and you get some extra, no, uh, space on your windows to put something. Another one. You guys are crazy. Suicidal octopus. Suicidal squid. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. Here you have a little area where you can, you know, wash off your hands after after working in the garden or whatnot. Or just, I don't know, clean your shoes off or whatever you need. A little jetty here, so you can grab a fishing pole and, you know, fish some stuff. Downstairs here we have a little, little, little chicken, so we can grab our eggs in the morning. Yeah. So, in here, this is our storage room, and it was dressed up as a kind of like a cellar, so we have our health potion barrel in here, you know, potion of healing, obviously. Very pink, very not non referring to anything else. We have an, an anvil here, so we can, you know, basically standing in this area, you can do anything you need to do. We got our crafting table here, we got our barrels with them. Um, and other stuff so basically standing in the middle here you can smelt in your furnaces we have blast furnaces here as a part of a floor design we got our uh, what was this called uh, smithing table I guess and our grindstone obviously and behind this door 
there is a smoker design that I came up with, so we got some fireplaces going here, smoking our fish that, that we hang on our little, you know, hooks or whatnot. Some candles, obviously, a lovely little, little addition for decoration in Minecraft. Really love those. So, moving forward. We have our first floor here. We have some pot plants here to just decorate our little entrance area here. Here's a little, you know, corridor. We have our clothes here so we can dress up going out. We have some space for, I don't know, maybe armor, like maybe our shoes, our, our chest plates, our helmets. This will all fit in here, no problem. We got ourselves a little office area with uh, with photography tables, some more candles, some paintings. And here is a little kitchen of ours. We got some space to store our, our food in. We have some place to work on. We got our pot, which uh, will be some stew cooking or whatnot. Or some mugs or, or what, whatever else you would like it to be. And here's our little dining area. And as I said, like this window design, it lets you actually, you know, place things in the window. So we get some more, more space to put stuff in. We have a little, you know, corner sofa. We have our books here, our, our, you know, disc player, so we can just chill here and, and yeah, read a book or whatever else you like, just chill. And here upstairs we got ourselves some little enchanting setup, so we can do all our magic in here. We got our bookshelves, some candles for decoration. I love this little skylight that we can see. We can see stars through at night, so there's even more magic in the air while we are enchanting. Lots of storage space for lapis lazuli, your books, your gear you want to enchant, and whatever else you need. And of course a grindstone, so we can disenchant things and and get some some experience from it. Some cobwebs just for decoration, just to, you know, indicate that it's an attic, right? It's an old little attic. And as you can see, we we didn't have space to, to put actual bedroom in here, so necessary you could replace this little thing with with a couple of beds or just place bed in here there are always options right and outside here we have our little garden so we can grab fresh wheat for for our bread in the morning or whatever else we need we have a composter over here so we can you know get our kitchen scraps outside, compost them, and be, you know, sufficient and gentle to the environment. Okay, going out. Let's see what else we have in our little, little growing village here. If you're wondering about this little crosses, like, I use this green wool to, to just mark places where I, where I want to put uh, more trees in the future and it also marks the size of the trees so the 3 by 3 cross is something of this size then one block will be just a just a little I don't know a little sapling and 5 by 5s and bigger will be just giant enormous trees and I would love it so much to to get more of those gi giants in here and basically replace the whole visible area which with a customly built spruce trees. 
this would be totally amazing. Uh, this is just a placeholder for something that I that I would like to build in this spot. I don't know what this will be, yet, so I just thought that it would look very good if we had another larger building over in this area. Right, so moving forward. When we follow this little path here, we have our stables where our lovely horses that probably, you know, pull this wagon here. They live in here, they have their, you know, water cauldron that they just like to step on and their feeder that they also like to just step on. <sighs> horses. There are some more guys. Same, same little design in here. There's actually, there's actually some space over here, but there's no ladder or anything. And this is a half block, so I couldn't really put any uh, hay blocks or, or whatever else. Because probably this would be used to, to just store some more food for our horses. And this whole building is like, you know, like a, a stable master or I don't know how how the person who, who, you know, takes care of horses is called. But he would live in here, so he also have a nice little kitchen with some uh, bottles in this case standing up here and, you know, nice little worktop here, some, you know storage space for food again, some some dishes, some you know little dinner set up with nice romantic pink candles and you know just uh, just a table for two a little cooking space in here uh, over here that's our that's our wardrobe so we can also store our clothes in here and whatever else else we need. And hi, this little door, like, you know, after the dinner you sometimes just have to, you know, do a little business here. So, so you can compost your, you know, leftovers here. Yeah, that's totally, that's totally it. Upstairs here. More storage space. I try to put barrels anywhere I can, so there's plenty of storage room. We have our little uh, living, living room area with our beautiful, you know, prized amethyst crystal. We have our coffee table here, so we can just chill, read a book. Over here, there's our cozy little bedroom. Not too much space, but it's, you know, we have our beautiful armchair here. Super cozy and soft and as you would expect, right? It's super comfortable. There's a single bed over here. You could easily place place double bed as well. More storage, guess what? And some, you know, romantic candles, flowers. Some decorative cloth hanging here over our bed. Lighting things up at night a little bit. Upstairs here, there is just a little attic area with some, you know, barrels. Some lighting hidden in this in those guys and you still have plenty of room to put whatever you want in here so you can either remove the structure and and just place whatever you want in here so yeah and outside we go to our little customly built pond we did have some fish in here. I'm not quite sure what happened with them. Yeah, our tropical fish didn't seem to survive. Probably they despawned, which is a shame. So you can just hop onto a swing, just, you know, chill and, you know, enjoy yourself in here. Nice little magical tree with lots of plants and candles and I basically used everything I could in this, <laughs> in this guy here. We even have spiders living up there. 
So I can use uh, some new blocks, some, you know, mossiness around, some glow lichen, so that we have a little magical atmosphere in here. You could probably hang a, a spore blossom or two just for just for the atmosphere. Oh, look how magical this looks right now. Amazing. I just love this new additions to the game. It gives it so much, so much life. Over here, we have a little spring. So we can, you know, get a jug of fresh water or just, you know, drink from the well. And this actually goes underground and and the stream will be floating out over to here. I will decorate this a little bit better into some, you know, uh, cracked stone thing, something like that. Here we have some custom paths that I made. So we can, you know, easily run around and they are super, super comfortable and give this area just, you know, a little, a little binding, a little, you know, just gets things together really nice. And that's a gate that doesn't lead anywhere. It's very pretty, right? So a bit of uh, Asian inspiration here. I'm thinking that this area would be like a trading area, so probably a, a large circu circular plaza and, you know, shops and houses around. If I was using this in a survival world, I would probably hire some villagers and uh, let them just live in here and, you know, do their, do their trading inside there. And over to this side, we have this cute little bridge that I made. I've actually replaced it fully. It was stone before and I think it was just too much for this area. I think of a simple wooden bridge, it's everything we need. With some with some lanterns going here and I think I should change this fireplaces to go in this direction. I haven't actually seen this from from below when I finished it. So yes, that's that's that. And we have our little have ourselves a little wall going through here so i imagine this this will this will probably spread all over this this area and we have quite a bit of of a waterway here so this would probably be a good area to for for the ships to dock and and you know do their trades and maybe we'll build like a nice custom ship over over here one or two you know a trading barge or something like this yeah so i think that the wall will eventually go all the way around here and probably some bigger you know parts of the city will be will be over there and the first building on this side was what i did just today and this is a baker's shop so we have a little bakery here with a with a sign and downstairs you can see there is the bakery itself. We have some bread being baked and we wash our hands in here because hygiene, right? We have a little table to, to knead our bread and yeah, and there's a stock for clients to, to take. They can also buy wheat if they want for you know their animals or or just cook their own bread have a little hanging azalea here upstairs we have we have a living room very tiny little area we are just simple you know baker who lives here 
from outside. This building looks quite cute, I guess, with this, with the same windows design that basically creates some sort of, you know, carving into the structure and basically make it look a bit more interesting. You can see this is just like five by by something, five by seven building or something like that. So it's not huge, but I think it turned out really lovely. So above our living room, we go upstairs. We have our little bedroom here with double bed, a nice little, you know, folklore design, as you as you will. Some candles in the window, some more custom plants. Our little desk over here where we can write our love letters or or whatnot. And there's a little balcony here we can, you know, enjoy the weather on. And that's basically it from from the outside. Over here we have our little garden. We grow our organic wheat in here for our bread making. Doesn't look like much, but I guess the bread baker, you know, is okay and is doing well. We have our little park bench in here. Our our lawn is very well kept, as you can see. It's, it's nice and trimmed and all that. And we can just sit here and relax if we can get here. Yes, we can. So, look how cute this area is. I cannot look at my face. Don't like being Alex. Give me back my skin, I tell you. Alright, so, this is our little garden here. So, this will be all that I have for you today. Let me know what you think, and if you have any amazing ideas of what I could put in this area, leave me a comment down in the comment section. I appreciate you taking your time to watch my videos. Leave me a like if you enjoyed my company, and maybe consider subscribing if you'd like to see more of my content. You enjoy yourselves, beautiful people. This has been Creeping Chicken, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.